Jesus. Hey, glad you came back. Hey, today uh, we're making pollock. Yeah, it's pollock season right now. It goes between, well, the first part of the season goes between January and April. Now, you might say you've never had pollock. You know, I bet you have. I bet you have. If you've had imitation crab meat, you've had pollock. Because that's the main protein in the imitation crab meat. If you've had a fish sandwich from McDonald's, shout out to the fish fillet. Love that joint. A pollock, right? Arby's, Sonic, hey, Captain D's. For you guys out there on the East Coast, Captain D, hey, Pollock, Long John Silvers. Again, it's Pollock. A lot of these fast food restaurants, I mean, I can name them, I can keep going. Um, they use Pollock, right? It's a seasonal fish, and right now, it's in season. So if you can get it fresh, go for it. But most times when you find it in the grocery market, it's going to be frozen. So what I did, I'm making a dish, a breaded dish out of pollock, right? And yes, I'm going to do other dishes with pollock since they're in season. So just stand by for that. But this is what we're making. I hope you enjoy it. Look at this. Yeah. This is my plate, right? It's pollock. It's baked with a crunchy exterior. It has dill in it, lemon. There's a little bit of a Dijon mustard in it, mayo. I know you're going to enjoy this. I hope you enjoy it. It's real quick, real simple. You're going to love this, okay? You'd be surprised how simple it is, but you're going to love it. Stay tuned. Watch what I do. Oh, I almost forgot. I got to taste this. I, well, I don't, I mean, I don't have to, but I want to. I've been waiting for this all day and I'm going to get some. You know how it is when you really want some, regardless of what it is. You just got to have it. But we're going to have some of this fish. Going to take here. Let me bring it up to you. Well, put a little lemon on it. Yeah. A little lemon juice on it. Which is completely optional. But, you know, with fish, I like to put a little lemon on it. We get a little bit of this. Nice and crusty, flaky, half down. Mm. Flaky goodness. Oh man. The one thing I would do different is I would go a little heavy handed on the binder, on the mayo mixer, I would add more to it. I mean, you taste it, I mean, you do, but I would add more to it. Normally I try to go light because you know Mama Charles, you know, she's real picky, but in this case, I would definitely go heavy on it. Hope you like this. Again, now, enjoy the video. I gotta get, uh, I'm getting back on this. I wish you were here. I would give you some. I really would. I I would. I would make enough and we'd all be smiling right now. Like I'm smiling right now. Watch. Hey, this is Charles Chiron. That's the best elevated music I ever heard. All right, so what we have here, we have one cup of breadcrumbs. You can use regular breadcrumbs. You can use panko breadcrumbs. Whatever breadcrumbs you want, go for it. You can use it. We have about a quarter of a cup of mayo here, right? We have a couple teaspoons of fresh dill. You can use the, the dry dill. Just cut the amount in half if you're gonna do that, okay? We have a couple tablespoons of lemon juice. We have my tablespoon of fresh uh, parsley right here. And we have just over a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. 
and here we have two Pollock fillets. Okay, it's Pollock season, and we're gonna take advantage of it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're going to get our breading ready, and we're gonna get our sauce ready. And what I mean by sauce, I mean what we're going to be putting on the fish that we're then going to put the breadcrumb mixture on top of. So let's do that now. Now for the breadcrumb mixture, all we have is some chopped up or chopped up parsley. Just gonna put that in there. Real simple, nothing fancy, and just mix it up. Right? That's all you're doing. You're just mixing it up. It's not going to be overly green because you're not putting that much parsley into it. Right? It's not going to be moist at all because there's just not enough moisture in here. Because this is the breading, you see? And that's what you want. And there we go. We just mix that up. That's going to be the breading for the top. Okay? Now, let's work on the um, basting liquid. Not really basting liquid. I guess you could say a cooking paste, as it were. So let's work on that now. So we have our bowl here. Let me get um, a little spatula. A little spatula here. We're going to add our mayo. And this is why it's good to have a spatula, because you can get everything pretty much out of your containers with a spatula. I'm using a little silicone spatula. If you need one or a good one, look in the description. A lot of the things I use in my videos, I try to put them in, in the description so you're able to use them for yourself. Now, we're going to add our dill into this. So the dill goes in. Right? Give it a nice fragrance. Our lemon juice in. Our Dijon mustard, that goes in. Right, all that out of there. Now, if you like mustard as much as I do, hey, you know, add a little more. If you don't like it as much, you know, add a little less. Okay. I'm gonna take my whisk, I'm gonna whisk this up. Just a nice little sauce, like a binder, if, as it were, to bind the breadcrumbs to the pollock. Okay, there we go. See that? That's what we want. Now, what I'm going to do, let me get a paper towel here. What I want to do, I'm going to grab my basting brush, that we're going to need that here in a minute. We have our fish here, okay? And we're going to apply our binder, our mayo sauce to the fish. Now I'm using a spoon because I'm gonna to have to do this twice. So I'm putting a little bit here because Mama Straw, she's still at work right now. And so I'm going to reserve that so I can make hers when she gets home so she can have it fresh. It's always better to have your food fresh, not where you have to reheat it up later, you know? Okay. Now we have the binder on it. Now we're going to take our breadcrumbs and you're going to put the breadcrumbs on the fish. You know, be generous with it. I have it on wax paper. Uh, I'm sorry. I have it on parchment paper. Don't use wax paper for this. Use parchment paper. I don't know why I'm thinking about wax paper. No, it's parchment paper. Use parchment paper. And we're just going to put 
your breadcrumbs on it. And I'm making sure I put enough on this so I don't have to reach back into the bowl. Because like I said, I'm gonna have to do this again here pretty soon. I can get some off the, the paper here. Okay, pat it down nice and good. Now, this is going to go into the oven. Now, let's talk about the oven work here real quick. Now, this whole time, the oven has been preheating at 450 degrees, okay? When you preheat your oven, you set your temperature. Now, once it gets to that temperature, do not put anything into that oven until it's been at that temperature for at least 15 minutes. In this case, we have to make sure we do that. I mean, we're doing fish. It's not going to take long to cook. So we're going to put this into the oven for roughly 15 minutes to cook it through. It's going to be real flaky. The breadcrumbs are going to be a nice golden brown if we're lucky, right? That's what we're going for, a nice golden brown. And then we'll take it out and it'll be good to go. So let's get this in the oven for the 15 minutes. All right, so this is going to go into the center of a 450 degree oven for 15 minutes. And we'll be back in 15 minutes and see what we're working with. All right, so like I said, when you this recipe goes so quick, so when you start getting ready for this recipe, at that point, you should be preheating your oven at the 450, okay? Now, every oven is different, right? Some heat faster and hotter. Some are colder and slower. So, you want to keep watching it, right? Even though I said this is going to be in the, in the oven for 15 minutes, it may be 15 minutes, okay? It might be 10. Then again, it might be 20 or 22. You have to watch it, okay? which is, I know it could be kind of stressful, but this fish, it, it cooks quick. So you want to watch it. Just keep that in mind. Having said that, you know I got the blue can, so my ability to watch may not be where it should be at this particular time. So let's cross our hearts our fingers, our legs, or whatever else you can cross, and hope we don't burn them up. Because either way it goes, this first run, I'm eating it. And then when I make mama straws, I'm gonna have to pay closer attention. I might have to hide the blue can so I can't get to it, so she can have some good dinner. But we'll see how it goes. Stay tuned. All right, so look at the draw. It's been about 11 minutes, okay? The fish is done. So like I said, you gotta keep watching it. Let's pull this guy out and let's plate up and see what we got. All right, let's get this guy out of here. See that? Can you see that? Yeah. Okay, be careful because this is hot, so. I have a plate. Now we're gonna carefully, I got my fish slice here. If you don't have a fish slice, I'll see if I can put a, uh, a link in the description so you can get one for yourself. But it makes it real easy to move fish around. See that? It's like a spatula that's made specifically for fish. Okay. Let's get this out of the way. We don't need this anymore. All right, let's garnish it up. Give it a little lemon wedge. Let right, me just kind of move this a little bit. Lemon wedge for each piece of fish. Now get some parsley for it. I'm gonna get some sprigs of parsley. I'm 
Oh yeah. Little sparse parsley there. Let's see what we got. So here we have it. A nice crispy, crunchy, very lemony, dill infused pollock. I hope you liked this recipe. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Hey, if you're not already subscribed, join the peanut gallery. Hit that subscribe button. Click the notification bell. Hey, and share us out if you can. It really helps us out a lot. You know, our arms are always open and we'll leave the light on for you so you can find your way back to us. Also, if we're not connected on Instagram, go to Instagram, put my name in, Shraw Shraw, look for the gray cat, let's connect. That being said, I'm out because I'm about to eat this joint. I love fish. Oh, and Pollock, oh my goodness. I'm about to get in with the get in. Thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoy your day.